Dear viewers, my Facebook and YouTube channel were created on your special request in 2020 amid of COVID-19 pandemic. You are requested to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you. You always wanted to know how to talk to your kids about sex, especially when they are 9 to 12 years of age. Are you ready? Here we go. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. Dr. Zafir with you and you are watching my informative YouTube channel. As a parent, how to talk to your kids about sex, especially when they are 9 to 12 years of age. Why parents should talk about sex? If children and young people are giving accurate information about bodies, relationships, sex and sexuality, they are more likely to make safer choices as they become adults. Being able to talk about these things gives parents and carers an opportunity to discuss their own values about relationships, sex and sexuality. First of all, Parents, especially mothers, should be well aware about the developmental changes and commencing of puberty in their children. In boys, puberty begins between age 10 and 13. Talk to boys about their first ejaculation around this age, even if they don't look like they are going through puberty. In girls, Physical changes begin between the age of 8 and 13. Girls typically experience their breasts begin to bud and their areolas, that is the pigmented area around the nipple, enlarge. Scant pubic hair appears. Talking about sex with your child. Experts say that discussions about sex with your child should you start far earlier than age seven. If you haven't started talking about sex with your children, now is the time to remove the taboo. This is when your kids are going to have lots of questions. It is never too late to talk with your child, children about sex. Talking about sex, sexuality and bodies when your child is young can help your child understand that sex and sexuality are healthy parts of life. Open and honest conversations when your child is young can make late conversation easier. There are few key points you should know. Number one, a good strategy is to start talking to your child about sex when they are young and continue that conversation as they get older. Number two, as a child is exposed to information about sex from sources such as school, friends and the media at a much earlier age than many parents expect. Number three, Parents should not rely on the school system to teach sex education. If your child is taught sex education at a school, ask them what they learn and review it with them. Number four, don't worry. Sex education does not lead to promiscuity. That means he or she will start sex relations. Even today, Talking about sex education is no less than taboo in our subcontinent society. Not being aware of it, watching contraceptive advertisements on TV triggers various queries in the minds of children. The step towards sex education should be initiated by parents and schools. But the biggest question that arises is how to talk openly with children about sex or how to educate them on it. Here we have gathered some points to help you initiate sex education in your children. And this vlog is especially for the parents 
how to talk to your children about sex. Sex knowledge based on age. According to experts, it is important to educate children about sex at the right age and in the right way. It can be started from the age of four or five years. Introduce children to their private parts at an early age. They should give complete information of private parts, including the body name. Good touch and bad touch should also be mentioned. During bath time, sex education by teaching your child the proper names of his or her sex organs. If your child points to a body part, simply tell him or her what it, what it is. This is also a good time to talk about which parts of the body are private. Here are eight tips to give sex education. Number one, think about how you were taught about sex as a child. Ask yourself if you want your child to have the same or a different experience. Number two, give age appropriate answers. This means explaining things in a way that your child can understand according to their age and level of development. There is no need to answer questions they haven't asked. Don't overload them with information. They will glaze over and nothing will get through. Number three, try to keep the exchange as a dialogue. When kids ask questions about sex, gently throw questions back at them. Find out what they know already and where they heard it from. This way you can correct any misinformation from the start. It's very important to find out exactly what children are actually asking about. Sometimes when they ask where babies come from. Number four, be honest. Children can often figure out when parents are not telling them the truth. If this happens, children are less likely to be receptive in the future. Do not worry if you do not know the answer yourself. Tell your child that the question was a good one, that you do not know the whole answer and that you can both look up the answer together. Again, this helps slow the conversation down. Number five, reading with your child also helps get over embarrassment. There are great age appropriate books about sex, gender and reproduction for both parents and kids. Number six, if your child hasn't asked about sex, start the conversation. Some kids are just naturally shy and don't tend to ask a lot of questions about anything. Do not wait. Initiate a conversation with the child about sex. Ask them what they know and what is being taught at school. Use examples from nature. Even in the city, Animals are courting and mating all around us. Addressing animal reproduction first is a great way to introduce and reinforce sex education about people. Number seven, as the child learns about sex, you can let them know that speaking about it everywhere is not appropriate. The car can be a great place to speak with your child about sex. The fact that you are both staring straight ahead may take some of the embarrassment out of the conversation. Sitting side by side on a park bench will do the same thing. If your child asks your personal questions, answer in in abstract. Tell them you understand their curiosity, but some things are a private part of your life. For example, if they ask if moms and dads have sex every night, they go to bed together. You can answer that when people sleep together, that does not necessarily mean that they are having sex. 
Number eight, remember that sex education is a continuing process. Children will need some things repeated in order to understand. Keep talking. A good method is to use easier topics like body order and deodorant or excess hair and shaving to start and work up to wet dreams and other sex related topics from there. That is nothing to be ashamed of. So the take home message for the parents. Number one, it's never too early to talk with your child about sex. Number two, try to keep the exchange as a dialogue. Number three, give age appropriate answers. Number four, if your child hasn't asked about sex, start the conversation. Number five, a good method is to use easier topics like body order and deodorant or excess hair and shaving. At this point, talk about wet dreams. Number six, remember that sex education is a continuing process. I hope in this way you can teach your children about sex stay blessed thanks for watching my informative vlog on facebook and youtube channel if you like this video please subscribe and share